the Honor Guard Long Slide. Let's check it out. Honor Defense is a veteran-owned company right down in Gainesville, Georgia, making some really nice single-stack 9mm. Uh, I did a review on the original model, uh, which was excellent, and a lot of people obviously were interested in it because the views went crazy. Uh, this is their new long slide version, and it really it just has a longer slide. The grip itself is about the same size, and then you have an accessory rail. For a new company, there's a lot of cool features about this gun that I think you're gonna like. Yeah, I know it looks a little bit like a Smith & Wesson shield, but it's nothing like it. I love seeing a new firearm company, something fresh, something that's just different. And of course, obviously when you look at this, uh, there are other firearm designs that come to mind, but Gary Ramey, who started uh, Honor Defense, actually has a background at Beretta. Uh, for a number of years and decided to go out on his own. This is made in Gainesville, Georgia. It is 100% American made. They pride themselves in only sourcing parts that are made by U.S. companies in the U.S. If the company has subsidiaries outside of the country, they won't deal with them. They're a veteran-owned company and they take Made in America very seriously. The only thing that's not made in America is the lock. And these are very hard to source in the U.S. And it doesn't really matter because this is going to my junk drawer. <laughs> Now the subcompact Honor Guard entered the market at the end of 2015. It is again the single stack 9mm. Uh, here we have a 7 round magazine. With an extended base plate we have 8 rounds. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check to make sure the gun is unloaded. And uh, it's unloaded. Uh, this gun has so many features to it. And you know, I demonstrated that with the first video. But because of the long slide we wanted to kind of take a look at it. Uh, but, and see what kind of advantages there are to maybe going with a little bit of a longer slide. Uh, there are definitely some advantages right off the top with a longer sight radius. With a little bit of weight at the front of the muzzle, it helps with controllability. I mean, there's no doubt about it. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we go down to the range. Uh, but there are some advantages there, which if you keep the grip short, it's just as easy to conceal. And that's one of the things a lot of guys have been realizing is taking some of the pistols with a little bit longer slide, a little bit better sight radius, a little more easy to control, and yet concealable because you have a shorter grip. Still, this grip fills the hand, especially with the, the base plate here, but even with the standard. But one of the big things they wanted to achieve was making a pistol that had all the features that a lot of the current concealed carry single stacks have, but are missing one or two. And so Honor Defense came in and designed the Honor Guard with that in mind. And there's a lot of cool features. I have the subcompact. I've done a review on it. It's just been a fantastic pistol. There's a lot of cool things about this gun that separate itself from others. And of course, one that comes to mind the most and came to my mind was the Smith & Wesson Shield. Uh, definitely a lot of the same profile of the two pistols. Uh, but one of the things, and I said this at the beginning of the video, it may look a little or resemble the shield somewhat, but it is a totally different firearm. Uh, now, shield has come in and increased their texturing on their grips on the newer models, uh, but the Honor Guard has a really beautiful textured grip. We're going to look a little bit more at that in a minute. Uh, the other thing that the Honor Guard has above the shield is that it is fully ambidextrous. The slide release, the um, mag release, and then of course you can get ambidextrous safeties if you like that. Uh, and with the shield, obviously, you know, it's on one side. You can switch the mag release to the other side. Uh, but one of the other things that they've done is that their mag release is steel. 
Uh, they've got front cocking serrations. I mean, there's a number of different things there. But once we break the pistol down, that's really going to tell the story about the differences of the Honor Guard. But what we're going to do, we're going to bring the shield in back later. But let's just talk about uh, this pistol in particular because there are so many things about it to me that really stand out. Now, I love the shield, and my wife's concealed carry is the shield. Uh, that's one from the Performance Center, and it's a beautiful gun, great shooting gun. But the shield is a mass-produced pistol, and it's very well done by Smith & Wesson. They've been doing that for a long time. Uh, but one of the things about the Honor Guard is there's a lot of care taken in putting these together and a lot of quality that you would not find in a pistol of this price. It's metal controls all the way around. Um, the sights themselves, um, they're very good sights. There's a large orange dot at the front and there's a two dot sight at the back. It's white. One of the things though I really like about these sights, beside the fact that they are aluminum, so they're metal, and that really makes a difference over a lot of the plastic sights. But there is a shelf right here to be able for you know one-handed reloads. But yet it's smooth at the back. Uh, you'll notice that the front cocking serrations, that's definitely an advantage over most of your single stack uh, thin concealable handguns. The one thing about these serrations is they're over the top. And when I say over the top, <laughs> they are over the top. I mean, they go all the way across the slide um, and these serrations are really easy to grab hold of I mean you can get a good grip on them uh, the front of the muzzle you can see has an angle right here it does have a 416 stainless steel slide it does have a nitro carburized coating on it which same thing HK uses uh, to make it really durable and really tough uh, it has a really fine look to it. But another thing that I really like about this gun are the grips. Uh, the laser etched and they're very finely done. Uh, of course, there's a small strip right through here. But the texturing on this is aggressive, but it's not harsh. Here you can see it's almost like a basket weave pattern. Uh, it's very fine. Uh, you have an area right here for your uh, finger to rest. And it comes all the way up on the frame. Uh, and then even comes down here. So it's just very well executed. Just a hint of a finger groove. And then you have a back strap, which is removable and it does come with two. Now from the factory, you'll get the larger back strap. Uh, the other one is more like a flat back strap that really mimics the 1911. Um, so, you know, but honestly, my hands are about medium size and this still is still a thin gun this way and it fits in the hand very nicely. Here you can see the steel mag release checkered and of course that is ambidextrous. Now we have honor guard actually engraved into the slide. Uh, there are some people that think that's a banner and they don't like it but I think it looks really nice on the pistol. Takedown lever right here. One of the things I want you to notice is how thin it makes this gun. I mean there's nothing sticking out. Uh, everything is really molded right to the gun which is my favorite way to carry a handgun. A lot of times you get your safety levers and your slide release and they kind of stick out um, and it takes away because it does add to width of the, the gun itself, especially when you're carrying it. Here we have the standard subcompact and then we have the long slide. Uh, all the d dimensions here are the same on both pistols. Grip size, everything. Uh, if you want to add a little extra, you can put the uh, one with the extended base plate on there and give you a little grip. But what this does, it gives you again more sight radius. Now, this is a 3.8 inch barrel. This is a 3.2 inch barrel. Uh, so first off, you're going to have you know a little bit shorter barrel, about four tenths of an inch. Uh, also, this has an accessory rail on the front, which also makes it a little bit with uh, some advantages putting on lights and lasers. Now here we have the two on top of each other. You can just see how much it sticks out somewhat. Uh, one of the things, though, is you'll be surprised at the difference that this makes. It's not a whole lot. It won't really affect anything with your carry, but yet, you know, you have some advantages with that longer slide. Guys, I'll just be honest with you. When uh, Gary Ramey's told me, he said, hey, I want you to check out the long slide version. You know, I, I looked at it online and I thought, yeah, you know, okay, I'll do it, but I don't really get it. <laughs> um, and... Really, until I brought it down to the range, I didn't get it. But when I did, I've got it. Because this gun, compared to the standard, uh, just shoots a lot better. Side by side, having two guns that are just the same, 
uh, you can really tell the differences. And it all has to do with the slide, the longer sight radius and just a little bit of weight on the end of the slide really brings the recoil down and makes this a lot faster for follow-up shots, there's just no doubt. Now this doesn't mean that the standard size doesn't have a place because this would be the gun I would prefer to carry uh, on a regular basis. Uh, but that's one of the things a lot of guys like to have a little longer barrel, a little longer sight radius uh, for concealed carry. The big part that's important, of course, and we've talked about, is the grip. If it's short, uh, it's easier to conceal. The longer the grip, the harder to conceal. Uh, the barrel, you know, it's sliding down out of sight, so it doesn't really matter as long as it's comfortable. Um, and I think there's a lot of advantages to the long slide uh, if you really want to get a lot more confidence, honestly. Uh, you have more confidence hitting your target, getting those follow-up shots. You're going to be able to do it better with the long slide. Now, whether you choose to carry, you know, for comfort or a little bit of accuracy, you know, that's all personal preference. But um, I think there's a place for both. That front orange dot really is easy to pick up. And then you've got your two white uh, dots at the back. Uh, it's a great contrast, really easy to see your targets, and you can get really good accuracy uh, on your target if you're shooting just for accuracy. The Freedom Munitions Pro Match is 135 grain. It's the XAP round. It does have a hollow point, but it's fully jacketed. And these rounds are just so accurate. Uh, as you can see, that first shot, I pulled it a little bit, and then the rest of them were right in here. Obviously, I was at uh, seven yards, shooting just a little bit low, but still a good, solid group. And uh, these are easy to see targets. I want to thank Freedom Munitions for supplying the ammo. Uh, this 9mm, 115 grain, and also the 135 grain Pro Match. And uh, I've shot thousands of rounds of this stuff, and it just really functions well. You also get a 5% discount using Suit00 when you check out, which is always great <laughs> when you're buying ammunition. Front serrations have really come into their own, mainly because you can get another point to be able to rack that slide if you need to. But I found that this little angle right here was just as easy to grab hold of and pull that back. Uh, but one thing about the serrations, it keeps you from getting your hand out in front of the muzzle. And you definitely don't want to do that, even with an unloaded gun. But this really helps to keep it there. Early on, I had a couple of malfunctions, uh, mainly just failure to feed, uh, just almost. And uh, I checked it out. I even disassembled the gun to look at it. Everything looked intact. Put it back together, shot another 150 rounds without any problems. Um, and that was with the original 115 grain Freedom Munitions. Shooting the uh, hotter Pro Match uh, didn't have any problems whatsoever. Uh, with the standard uh, Honor Guard, I didn't have any problems with the first review and I didn't have any problems this time. Now one other issue I had was when I first loaded the magazines for the first time. Uh, it was very difficult to get the full capacity. That last round had a hard time going in and I just finally forced it in. It seemed like I took a break and came back to it and it went in, uh, um, you know, just a little tough. Uh, I noticed though with the second loading uh, there was not as much resistance and with the third there was less. And there may have been just a small burr or just that spring needed to be kind of moved around inside there because after that uh, they've done very well. Now they're not getting weaker but I think maybe just manufacturing processes sometimes can do that. Now I did notice that the ejection pattern was a little bit erratic or possibly weak uh, with certain loads and I, most of that was with the 115 grain full metal jacket Freedom Munitions. Uh, with the Pro Match, which is a little bit hotter with the XAP round, uh, I was getting more consistent ejection. I think a lot of that has to do with the heavier slide. It needs a little more just to be able to fire with the smaller frame. And you really want to carry full self-defense loads anyway. These guns are rated for plus P and they are actually test fired at the factory with plus P ammunition. And I want to thank ShootSteel.com for supplying the music. <laughs> so one of the big things that Honor Defense wanted to do was to put out a single stack 9mm pistol that had all the great features of a lot of the different guns. Uh, and you know there's a ton of different things on the outside that we've just shown. But let me show you really the big thing that's different between this and almost all of your single stack, in fact, any of your single stack pistols out on the market. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is drop the magazine. We're gonna bring back our slide. and We're gonna lock our slide stop into place. Uh, we're gonna disassemble the pistol. And of course the gun is unloaded. Uh, bring down your safety lever. 
One thing right up front is you do not have to pull the trigger in any form uh, to release the slide or to break down the pistol. And so let's go ahead and hit that and bring it on out. Now we have our recoil spring and guide rod. It is a double recoil springs, pretty cool system. It's not captive, uh, at least the one main spring. Uh, then we have our barrel, again, stainless steel. And then we have our slide, again, stainless steel. Okay, here is the stainless striker system uh, and no polymer, no plastic. That is a big coup over a lot of the striker fire pistols you see. Uh, the interior of the slide is very well done and you can see that <laughs> that extractor is excellent. Uh, but again, the finish on these, they're just excellent. But here in the frame is where the biggest difference lies. Uh, right here with your uh, takedown lever, lift it up just a little bit and pull it out. There's a spring, excuse me, right there that will kind of hold it and you've got to just get past it. Now from here, just take the front rails and you can use a screwdriver or you can just pull it right out. And as you see, the entire mechanism comes right out just like the SIG P320. Very modular uh, and this makes, this is the gun. This is the serialized part and this is what makes up the firearm according to the ATF. What is so beautiful about this, beside the fact that it's just one consolidated piece, is that I can change out my frames, I can change out my slides, my barrels, and do it without having to go through paperwork, especially uh, states that have really restrictive gun laws. You know, you get that first pistol, you've got to wait a long time, and instead you can just buy a frame like this right off of the Honor Defense website. I believe they're $49. Uh, and you can do that, or the slides, you can, these are available in different sizes, the barrels, and you can go straight with this into the pistol. So it gives you the best of both worlds. Um, and it makes this very modular to go into other things that they may come out with later. Uh, just like all the advantages of the SIG P320. And so I think that, um, you know, it's just a really cool system, and I believe this is really the way things are going to start going. Now to return that, just set it, the ears in the back, the back of the frame, take your ham your trigger, and just get it lined up and it clicks right back in. It's really easy to do. The hardest part is just getting out your uh, takedown lever. And then we're going to put it in. There's a little angle here that you want to start with the little piece right there. And we just work it in. Once you get it past the first piece, it's a lot simpler to do. And then we get it down and then it clicks right into place. Of course, to, to reassemble it, we'll need to have the lever in the down position. Now to reassemble, install your barrel. Here we have the recoil guide rod. One thing I want you to note, and I'll do it once I install it, is you want the open ends right here of this captured area to be on the side and the solid surface on top. Then we're gonna bring our slide over. Go ahead and engage our slide stop, bring the lever around, and we're good to go. Very simple, but yet very modular. And guys, there's a number of different frame colors that they're starting to come out with. Of course, we have the FDE here, we have OD green, and then we also have what they call the mahogany, which is a deep uh, brownish red. It's really nice looking. Uh, and then here's your frame. They're 49 bucks a piece, so it's really easy to switch out to whatever color preference you like. Um, and it just takes a matter of seconds to switch that out. Just take the module out, put it in this receiver, and you're ready to go. Uh, and then you have your, your, your magazine releases already installed. This is kind of like Legos. I mean, it is really cool. <laughs> the trigger is metal. has a trigger stop right here. We're going to go ahead and check the trigger pull. You have your take up, but it's not a lot. Right here, a little bit of stacking, and then you have the snap. Um, it is made for combat trigger. It's a self-defense trigger, so it's not going to be buttery, smooth, and real light, which is important in a self-defense situation. Now we're going to try that one more time. We're going to check reset. Right there. There's the reset. It's actually pretty consistent to where you pull it and the reset. We're going to check trigger pull weight with the Lyman trigger gauge. It 
Seven pounds, four ounces. Six pounds, 13 ounces. Seven pounds, 0.5 ounces. Uh, that's pretty consistent with the original two. They're around the seven pound mark and that's what they're saying. Checking the difference in weight with the long slide, 25 ounces with a magazine, with the subcompact regular slide, 22.8 ounces. Honor Defense also works with the Navy SEAL Foundation, so a portion of their proceeds go to support that organization, and they also support the DEA Survivors Benefit Fund. So it's a really cool way to be able to support not only veterans, but also law enforcement. Now the retail price on the Honor Guard is $499. Uh, I saw it in a number of places, pretty much across the board at $449. So, you know, you're looking at about $450. Yes, it's more expensive than the Shield, but yet it has a lot of cool features to it uh, that, you know, that are really upgraded. So, you know, if you want to just leave your gun plain Jane, that's fine. If you love to have some of these features on your pistol, this is a great way to go. Now, as far as pros and cons of the pistol, uh, one of the big pros is the modular system. I mean, you can change out your grips. You can put a different slide on here. You can go with an extended uh, one of the cool things, too, about the modular system is that as Honor Defense continues to add to their line, you'll be able to expand that modular system into that. Uh, again, very similar to the SIG P320. The other thing is, of course, is the total ambidextrous features on here and the ability to put a frame safety if that's what you want. Um, and so that a lot of guys are not comfortable with a striker fire pistol without a safety, and this will give it to you. Uh, the other thing is the slide serrations are just beautiful. I'm up at the front uh, going all the way across the top. Uh, the sights are excellent, but if you want to do differently, which I didn't really mention, uh, this does accept Glock sights. So you can remove these sights and put a number of different type sights on here that are available. Uh, but I really like the sights that are on here. I love this cocking shelf. I love this big dot at the front. Uh, I would probably go though more with night sights as far as a concealed carry piece. Uh, the other thing about the Honor Guard is it does offer the longer slide. If you've got this beautiful texturing on the grip, which is just superb and one of my just favorite features. Uh, all steel components. So there's a lot of pros to this pistol. Uh, the price is a little more and of course $450. You can get a Smith & Wesson shield for considerably less, but you're going with a lot less features than you are with this pistol. So that's give or take according to if you really want these features on your pistol. Another con would be a little more weight with the slide, single stack pistols, and the trigger is a self-defense trigger, which is excellent, but you know, it is a little bit, you know, seven, about seven pounds, uh, and then of course the take up comes out quite a bit, uh, or the reset. So that could be a con as well, but it's still, at the range, it's very shootable. Uh, there's something about this pistol at the range that I just totally enjoyed. Uh, I already enjoyed the subcompact, but with the long slide, this is just a lot of fun to shoot at the range. So overall, I think that the pros outweigh the cons, but you know that's up for you to decide. There's a lot of different pistol options out there, and guys, the big thing is is to find something that you feel very confident carrying, and then take it out and shoot a lot of rounds through it. And one of the things that I didn't mention is that Honor Defense recommends that you fire about 150 to 200 rounds through your pistol to break it in. Uh, I found that that wasn't really a problem. We did have the couple of malfunctions, but it was right up at the front, and so it was in that 150 to 200 range, um, which you should do with every pistol, especially one you're going to conceal carry or you're going to have for home defense. And to find out all the details, you can go to honordefense.com check out all the different frames and the parts and everything else. They really stand for veterans and for America, which I really love. So Honor Defense, great company, and a really cool little firearm. One of the things I like to do probably more than about anything is to review something that's a little bit out of the norm. Uh, a new design, something that really brings some excitement to the market because it brings excitement to me. I mean, I've got a number of different guns and I really enjoy them but it's just nice to see some fresh designs. Uh, you know, Gary got in touch with me, um, I guess last year, and said, hey, I've been watching your reviews. I'd really like for you to check out the Honor Guard. Um, you know, he's not paying me. He's not sponsoring this video. He did send the pistols for the evaluation and to test them, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. 
uh, you know that one of the things that I always say about reviews no matter if it's mine or somebody else's is don't take the word of just one review uh, to make your decision on buying something look at the different reviews that are out there see what's going on uh, because it'll help you to make a more educated decision a lot of people have different choices and preferences and it really helps us all to be able to you know to weigh those out before we make a purchase I think though that if you do purchase the Honor Guard and you're looking for a single stack 9mm pistol, I think you'll be well pleased. It's an excellent pistol, it's got a lot of great features, and for the price, you know, it's just really a winner. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Is that it strongly resembles the shield uh, the Smith & Wesson shield is loaded uh, but you know that was you know most of your subcompacts aren't uh, having it they don't okay over your standard uh, sub over your okay. now the logo from the logo the honor defense logo was designed as People are too busy thinking about their own freaking selves, a freaking freaker.